Hey everyone, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the winged scourge that pecks at your nightmares. I am Darkwing Duck! Yep, for the NES. I figured since I did like Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, DuckTales, both for the NES, I might as well do this one too. Plus this was one of my Christmas requests for the third day. So yeah, I figured I might as well play it. I finished it only once. The final boss is totally brutal. But yeah, let's get this over with, shall we? Once again, we need your help, Darkwing! A mysterious crime wave has swept over the city! We believe these crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization, Foul. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your mission. Remember to collect all the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Good luck, Darkwing. Uh, where should we go now, DW? Yeah, let's go to the bridge. Quacker Jack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You better stop him before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? Sure, why not? I am Darkwing Duck, as I say to absolutely no one around. So yeah, this is a very simple gameplay. Like, use B button to shoot. You don't have a charge shot, so no, don't think you're Mega Man. And you can hang on to stuff, too. Okay, pressing start allows you to see your points and what second weapon you got equipped. To use your second weapon, just press select. And to switch back, press the select button again. There we go. And you can also hold up while you're standing to actually use your shield. Personally, I don't see too much of a use for it, but you might come across some enemies where it will be required to use. Bats! Kill them! Not my LP, bitch! Yeah, sometimes it gets a bit dickish just to grab on stuff. You might pass through it by mistake if you're not centered properly. So try to aim yourself perfectly when you do that. Uh, let's try this. Way. There we go. That's not a good idea. You should not save when you're trying right in the middle of a dangerous jump. Try saving before. Otherwise, you'll just fuck yourself over. Okay, now we can go down. Oh, Mega Man scrolling. Okay, these guys have a shield too. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it! Remember, Darkwing Duck barely has any invincibility time. Oh, heavy gas is the new weapon I got. Yeah, that's what the shield does. Oh, might as well take this in again. Oh, I hit the turbo jump on mistake. That gives you a bad jump. It's pretty cool, you can actually duck and shoot too. Mega Man might learn a thing or two. Okay, that gas is basically your ammo for your sub-weapons. I don't know why your sub-weapons have used gas. Like, you think just standard ammo would do. Well, maybe it's just for your heavy gas, I don't know. There, now I can take on the boss. Here's Quacker Jack. He looks like he got a really bad dental plan or a mouthpiece on. Yeah, and those bananas actually hurt you. When you're hanging on a cliff, just hold down and you'll jump off right away. Just time your shots perfectly. That way you'll be able to hit him each time. He won't be on the same floor you're on, so you gotta be quick. I think he is wearing like a uh, women's pants or pajama pants on his head. Oh, got him. That was an easy boss. Job well done. 
Oh, I guess I'm gonna be briefed on my points. Oh, good, I got an extra life out of that. Uh, where should we go now? Uh, let's go over here. Wolf Duck and his henchmen are rampaging through the center of the city. But be careful, Wolf Duck goes berserk when the moon comes out. Do you want to go there? Well, of course I want to go there. I selected the place. Alright, let's do this. Alright, oh, I forgot about that. Some enemies like to keep out of the floor. That can lead to some cheap shots. They say the best sub weapon you can get is the arrow gun. Because not only is it a weapon, it gives you something to lean on when you reach a high wall. I better take his enemy out, he's gonna be a bitch the whole time. Oh, that was close. I thought I was gonna get. Oh, now I got hit. So I thought I was gonna get hit. Oh, I got hit. Yeah, careful, because this game is a lot like Contra and probably the uh, Chip Dale Rescue Rangers 2. Where if you jump too high, it's not gonna scroll backwards. Horizontally or vertically. Well, I'll scroll back horizontally, but not vertically. So you could find yourself in a cliff hole, cliff hole that was not normally a cliff. Ah, damn it, stupid bombs. Bombs? You want them? No, no, I don't. I don't want bombs. Okay, this enemy is a little special. Oh, no! Bad timing. Okay, this is where... Did I get the thunder... Oh, I didn't get the thunder gun. I, I had the arrow gun before, and I lost it. I didn't even know I picked that gun up. Cause this is where the arrow gun would have shined. I could have used that to get up there. But now I can't. Uh, I have very little health now. Might as well get to the end of this then. Oh, that was a bad idea. Yeah, how do you fight this thing? Oh yeah, you gotta aim at the head. You can't aim at the body, you gotta jump up and shoot. I'm gonna wait till this enemy goes away and then I'm gonna hopefully kill it. There we go. It's too bad I can't run in this. That would have been helpful in clearing some of these enemies if I don't have to fight them. Alright, get out of the way. Thank you. There we go. Just in case I fuck up. Oh, time to take on the boss. Yeah, every time the moon gets covered, it becomes weaker. Ah, I keep mistiming these jumps. Basically, this is a very easy boss. You can just stand cat there in the corner. But then he likes to fool you sometimes. Oh, but it didn't matter. There, yeah, that boss is defeated too. That's two stages. Nicely done. Okay, that leaves me with one more area, but of course there's gonna be more that opens up later. So I'm gonna stop the video right here. Stay tuned for the next part. See ya.